But first, it is February, and in Maine, that means it is high school basketball season. Thousands of fans are watching the standings, hoping their school makes it to the tournament, and lots of them are now watching in a different way than they once did. 207's Don Kerrigan is here with that story. Don? Thanks, Rob. It's pretty interesting. You know, there's nothing like being able to sit in the stands and watch the game in person, cheer your team on. But nowadays, more and more people are watching it from far away on computer screens, tablets, even their phones. And you might be surprised to know where many of those signals come from. Sam Bear. It's a February night at the Cross Center in Bangor. Dale Duff gets set to call high school basketball. John Bapst versus Old Town. All right, tip is up, and we are underway, and the Coyotes in their green with the first possession of the night. This game is not airing on regular TV or cable or even radio. Instead, it's live streamed, just one of many games. Today, I believe statewide, we have 14 games on starting at like three o'clock in the afternoon. That will make up this day's work for WHOU Live. It's a spin-off business from WHOU Radio in downtown Holton and has become arguably the dominant provider of high school sports video coverage in the whole state. Boy, did that just tickle the twine. Uh, we will end up by the end of the year doing somewhere around 1,800 uh, broadcasts around the state. Fred Grant, who owns the business, says it started out small with games his Holton radio station covered in Aroostook County. They decided to add video. And what was the reaction? It was great. And it took off. That was 12 years ago when streaming for many was new. What do you think it meant to them to suddenly also be able to see it? It's a big difference in actually being able to see the faces of the kids and the people that are in the stands. It really makes a stronger connection. The heart of their live stream operation is right in Holton above the post office, where producers monitor every game, adding scores, graphics, and commercials before the video stream hits the internet. Sometimes six or eight games at the same time, says Fred. He figured out pretty quickly that the live stream business could cover games way beyond Aroostook County. That's why he hired veteran sportscaster Dale Duff to expand it to Bangor. In the early days of streaming, like, coaches didn't want it because, you know, they could, opposing coaches could watch the stream and scout and maybe not have to travel and all of that, there was some pushback. Hmm. And now today, every coach wants a stream so that they can watch it. They began streaming more sports, basketball and hockey in the winter, football, soccer and volleyball, baseball, softball, lacrosse, as well as covering graduations, music performances and more. People want to see this content. They want to see the teams. They want to see the players. And they want as much as, as they can get. There's something authentic about high school sports and high school activities. Well, in down to Roy on the far side. He's front for a deep three out the front of the Further proof, if needed, WHOU Live expanded this year to cover regular season games in the Portland area. This is Old Orchard Beach playing York. Uh, Avery kicks it to Joyce for three. Three schools signed on this year, and Fred expects more will join next year. Are there ever moments when you kind of shake your head and are amazed that this all works? Yeah, all the, every single day. And it all works because people pay for it. Fred says they started out running commercials, but that wasn't enough. Three, four years ago with the MPA and our contract with them, we switched our model to a subscriber base. So $10 a month, somebody can sign up and watch our games. And it's really our subscribers that allow us to cover as much as we do. Thousands of subscribers, he says, some for a month or so, some year round. 
The live streaming may have started as really a way just to let local people watch the games without having to actually come to the auditorium and sit in the seats. But the net effect has been to open up these high school sports and other activities to fans of the schools from all over the country. People now want to see the game wherever they are. Dale Duff says people are eager to tell him about it. I hear all the time from grandparents who are out of state, down to Florida for the, for the winter, uh, brothers and sisters or who are off to college. For Fred, it's more evidence that people really care what their local kids are doing. It keeps the best parts of our community and the best parts of our schools connected. Now a little spinorama shot and look at that. So he plans to keep growing, adding more schools, more events, helping them all to connect in the stream. Pretty interesting. I should I, I misspoke a little bit in that story. Their actual name, W-H-O-U dot live. So if you go looking for them on air, that's what you, you got to have the dot. Fred Grant says they still do some games just with a camera, no announcers. But he says that they're going to do more and more move to having play-by-play uh, -play announcers as well because it makes a more complete, uh, more complete broadcast. There are some uh, local access TV channels, of course, that do that, and some schools do it too. And Rob, you and I are longtime friends with Dale Duff, who was in that story. We all worked together in Bangor. And it's fascinating, back in the day, it took a whole crew of people to do a basketball game, right? It, 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 people and equipment and trucks and all that. Now it's Dale and a, photo and a camera operator, a couple little pieces of equipment, and he says, plug into the ethernet, and there you go. And Dale grew up in Holton, so he's kind of come full circle working for an operation out of Holton that is streaming these games and, all over the world. And as a teenager, he worked at that radio station. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great story. Thank you, Don. Thanks.